Arnish Lot. Welcome to the penitentiary. <laughs> Dude. Arnish Lot, the penitentiary, is absolutely filling up. And I think I saw that CBS actually posted uh posted this guy so that's hilarious let me see yeah there he is cbs liverpool beat real madrid for the first time since 2009 arnie schlott's penitentiary is filling up <laughs> cbs is always a real one bro they they go with the memes they go with the vibes i always fucking love it but we are here for the game we are here for the game and the game was good the game was so good Missed penalties, missed chances, two missed penalties uh, from the biggest superstars, from Mbappe and from uh, Mo Salah. But this was all Liverpool. This was all Liverpool all day. I think there was a spell of like five minutes of Real Madrid probably being better than than, uh, Liverpool. They, They couldn't get out of their own area. They couldn't pass out. Their press was so good for Liverpool. Um... And in the first half, I think it was very, very frustrating for them because, honestly, they didn't create a clear-cut chance. But they were they were dominating, and um, they created some half chances. And you know, they were they were looking more the team that that was better. But they, you know, doesn't doesn't count until it hits the back of the net. And then the second half started, and I was I was starting to get nervous. I won't lie to you, McAllister almost good assist. Almost gets an assist. Doesn't happen. Says, I'll do it myself. Gets it. Bing, bang, boom. Gets a goal. And then he's, obviously, this is why he's the man of the match. And um, and then Liverpool give up a penalty. Andy Robertson, I love you. He's not beating the wash allegations yet. Okay? He is not. He gave up a penalty on Lucas Vasquez. And Kelleher again with a block and i was live streaming too and i was like he's good on penalties i was like dude if mbappe misses they're gonna blame mbappe because he's having a bad game they don't know that kelleher is like that they don't know that keller is so fucking good so it was kelleher bradley absolutely pocketed uh mbappe and then um uh mcallister w- just had fantastic games and I mean, I couldn't ask for more. Honestly, it was it was insane. It was incredible. Like I said, the first half, I think that they were just they were too revved up. They needed to calm down. They were ready to go. They were antsy. Real Madrid were playing it cool. But then you could tell that just Liverpool were the better side. And then they imposed themselves in the second half. And Cody Gapo scored the second goal to just kind of, you know, call game. And it was over. And like I said, Andrew came on as well. Didn't look good. But if if we're sticking right now with Liverpool, Liverpool look absolutely unbeatable. Arnie Slot has absolutely changed this side. They are fantastic. And I think the Arsenal game is gone. The Chelsea game is gone. The Madrid game has gone now. And now up next is City. Now, you can only play who's in front of you. City are going through a bad time. Madrid are going through a bad time. I, Liverpool can only play who's in front of them. Okay? That that can't be their... That's not their fault. They're going to play who's in front of them. And if they win, if they beat City, it's, it's going to be hard not to say that they are going to go on and win the league. And I try not to say that... Uh, one because it's you know it's going to be a clip that's going to come back and bite you in the ass but it's just, it's going to be really hard to say to not think that Liverpool are going to win the league um it's they just they look unstoppable they look unbeatable um again Arnie Slot has changed my life as <laughs> I don't. I used to pray for times like these. I mean, what do you say, dude? What the fuck do you say? Liverpool looks so good, and um, as far as Madrid, I know Madrid have had a bit of a slow, clunky start. I know that they're 
clearly dealing with a lot of injuries, even though they have a lot of big name superstars. You know, it's been clunky. And uh, Vinny Jr. obviously out. I think Rodrigo was out as well. Kamavinga, you're going to pray for him because he's a great player. Um, but he went down uh, in the second half holding his hamstring. So you hope he's okay. Um, I mean, they're just they're just having a bad time. And it, it's really difficult because like Manchester United, like City, like, you know, all these big teams, when they're playing bad, they just kind of all look bad. But Guler... Uh, it doesn't, you know, he gets these chances and he makes the least of them. He looked so bad. He had a couple shots or he just like, I don't, he didn't even make contact on him. They go flying everywhere. Modric looks old. Uh, Mendy got put in a blender um, by Sala. Valverde, you know, just isn't effective. Uh, Mbappe just doesn't, didn't look good. The only ones that look good, honestly, were Rudiger, Courtois, Kamavinga look good. And by good, I mean pretty average. Uh, Kamavinga was the only one that I thought did look good. And Brahim Diaz showed some flashes, but they just were not getting the ball. I mean, they had no possession. And it was it was absolutely evident. Let me see here. Okay, here it is. Yeah, they, you know, total passes, total attempts. I, I understand that Madrid are just... They're probably gonna have to spend in January, but they they look nowhere near it. They look they just looked I mean Liverpool looked a class above, and that is crazy to say. Uh Bellingham he, he's looking like he was a flash in the pan. I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to be rude. This whole season I mean he put up all zeros in this game. He said he loved Gerard and he wanted to put on a Gerard esque performance. Uh, he did not. He did not. Um, he put on a Garbanzo performance. Like he he looked so bad. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's. I mean, what else can we say? You know, Liverpool, they're amazing right now. Top of the Premier League, top of the Champions League, top of the world right now. They are. And Connor Bradley, like I said, just an absolute gamer. He also came off. So hopefully he's okay. Konate was limping at the end of the game as well. So we'll we'll see what the injuries are. But for right now, I mean Liverpool. Liverpool looked Chef's kiss. They they look unbeatable. And Again, I honestly, I don't, I don't know what else to say. The final test is going to be City uh, on. I think they play Sunday. I'm sure they play Sunday, but that's going to be the final test. And they look unbeatable right now. It is, it is crazy. But we'll see. We'll see what happens when they pull up on Pep Guardiola, and hopefully his uh, Pep Guardiola's head has healed by now because a true bald is coming into the building. And Arnie Schlott, I mean, what a dream start. <sighs> insane. This this is this is insane. I used to pray for times like these, man. I don't I don't this is incredible. 